chance to break for Fulham. Here's Harrison Reeve. Finds Harry Wilson down below us on Fulham's right hand side. Sweeps it across field. It's a nice ball to pick out Alex Awobi, left hand side of the penalty area. Pereira goes behind him on the overlap, and Pereira across the box. Jose Sarr got an important fingertip on that. It's gone out for the first corner of the game, which goes our way. They're still booing the referee. The Wolves fans felt there was a foul at the other end, but uh, good work from Fulham. A quick break out. Alex Awobi combining with Pereira, who fed it across goal. I'm not sure if it was a shot. I think it, it maybe was trying to curl it into the far side, but uh, the keeper's pushed it behind for a corner. Sarabia down the right-hand side. Calvin Bassi went across to defend for Fulham and did well. Touches it for Lukic. Back to Bassi and then out for Alex Awobi. That's nice, tidy uh, football from Fulham to clear our lines. Here's Awobi again. Forward for Sasha Lukic. A lovely little back heel to find Iwobi and it's through the middle for Harry Wilson, this could be it. Well, he's gone just wide with the outside of his left foot. What a lovely move from Fulham. If that had been the opening goal of the game, it would have been a really sweet one. There was some lovely play to come out from the left back position under pressure on the edge of our own penalty area. And look at that back heel there from Lukic. Alex Iwobi took a touch, fed it through early for Harry Wilson. And you fancied him, Jamie, once he got in that position. He's been in uh, in good form, looking really sharp in recent weeks. He decided to go with the outside of his left foot. He's put it just wide. But a terrific move from Fulham. Good ball from Awobi. You know that when he got away from Kilman, he was going to be able to get in, Jim. And now Muniz. The left foot. Well, just couldn't get the power from the edge of the box again. It was Alex Awobi that fed it through. Would have found Tossin, but good defending from Mario Lamina. Andreas Pereira with another opportunity to uh, swing a corner. Well, he plays it short this time to Harry Wilson. Not the best of balls back. It pushed him away from goal. Pereira into Harrison Reeves. Uh, nice little chip forward finds Wilson to Pereira. Back to Harry Wilson, left foot. The shot was goal bound, but it's blocked. Timothy Castagna heads it forward. It's headed away. Harrison Reed volleys it across the box. Muniz takes it down on his thigh. Right-footed shot was charged down by Tommy Doyle. Here's Alex Iwobi for Fulham. Good spell of pressure. Little back heel into the path of Anthony Robinson. Good cross coming in. Muniz goes up. It's headed away, though, as far as Pereira. Edge of the penalty area. Turns it into the path of Harrison Reed. Back across goal. Whoa, it's Tossin who slammed it against the crossbar. He got real power on that, considering the ball was played in behind him. He's got his right foot to it. There was enough power, I think, to beat the keeper had it uh, been six inches lower. He's unlucky there, Jamie Tossin. He's got one goal, I think, this season. He's very nearly doubled his tally. He's done well to get uh, so much into the shot, maybe just a little bit too much. If he'd have missed it a little bit. You see those ones go in, Jim. Go in, yeah. I agree with you, yeah. It's poor, the defensive header from Semedo but he should really be scoring there, Tossin, with the technical ability that he's got. I know he's a central defender. It's just... Uh, can't afford to be doing that. But it's a lovely ball from Alex Awobi. Crossfield to Harry Wilson, who takes it down beautifully. Face by Toti. He goes with the left foot, and he's not far away. It's textbook Harry Wilson there. Took it down on his chest. Drew uh, Toti, the uh, defender towards him, came inside onto his left foot on the angle of the uh, penalty area. He got too far away, it was a sweet strike. You've got to say, Jim, it's naive defending, it's almost bent in, and he was expecting Harry to go on the outside. He's a strong left-footed player, so he always knew he'd cut in, and he's done remarkably well there, the Fulham player. Yeah, really not far off target, but as you say, I'm not sure what Toti thought he was doing, showing him onto his left foot. Here comes Max Kilman. they're on the front foot at the moment, Wolves at the start of his first half. Uh, Harrison Reed protesting his innocence, the challenge on uh, Mario Lamina, I think, is going to lead to a yellow card. I'm not sure quite how uh, much he caught him, certainly Harrison was uh, insistent straight away that he hadn't caught him. Looking at the replay, I'm not sure he did. I don't, he certainly didn't take him out. He tried to uh, pull out of the challenge, I think, or make sure he didn't catch him, but... Mario Lamina went down, and Harrison Reid, the Fulham captain, has shown a yellow card. 
Well, you could see, Reid said straight away that he's got him booked there, the Wolves player, Lamina, and they would know each other from their Southampton and Fulham days. He's very, very upset, the Fulham skipper. Yeah. I don't know whether that uh, increases the likelihood of seeing Jao Polina introduced sooner rather than later, but a uh, free kick to Wolves floated into the box. Calvin Bassey got his head to it, it's turned back, and it's in. Well, it's Ait Nori. I don't think that was a free kick either. But uh, floated into the box, Calvin Bassey headed it backwards, I think, trying to get it out of play for a corner, but it fell to Toti, who was coming in behind him. He turned it swiftly back across the face of goal. And Ait Nori was there, the uh, fullback, to smash it past Burnt Leno and Fulham are a goal behind. Was well, a lazy header, isn't it, from Kelvin? He's got nowhere near enough pace on it, and I'm a huge Kelvin Bassey fan, Jim. We'll just see it again. Maybe he didn't realise the player was on his outside. He just got goal side of Rodrigo Muniz, got the cut back in, but it's not good defending, is it? He's got to get much more on that. And then again, Kelvin maybe could have got a little bit closer to the player. Eight Nori when he got the shot in on goal. It's a good cut back. It's a decent finish high into the roof of the net but we could have defended that much better. Yeah. Ain't Nori has been a problem, to be honest. Going forward, he's looked uh, a threat at times to the fullback. There's another Wolves player gone down. I mean, obviously, it's immediately going to look like, or it's going to look like I'm immediately looking for excuses, Jamie, but I'm still not convinced that was a free kick. Trying to work their way down the left-hand touchline. Castagna blocks it off. Gomez gets it back though, we still haven't got it clear, is Gomez once more under pressure from Harry Wilson. Will he stay on his feet? He did, Gomez, it was a clever little turn, he slides it into the box for Fraser, slams it against Calvin Bassey, fell nicely for a Wolves player, and then it's deflected in, it's a fluke to be honest, but it's 2-0. It's Nelson Semedo with a right-footed shot, but it was a wicked deflection that completely wrong-footed Burn Leno in the Fulham goal. He just never quite got to grips with that. It was clever work from Xiao Gomez initially out on the left-hand side, but it looked as if the uh, danger could be averted. He didn't clear it, and then in the end, Jamie Safluke, you'd have to say, but... The opportunity there for Semedo, he struck it well, it was goal-bound, but I think it was uh, very savable. It's gone in via a deflection, and that hopefully isn't the killer goal, but if it is, there's an element of, uh, of real luck about it. I think it's Tom Kearney, is it? It's hit. Just looking at the uh, replay, Fraser pulled it back, it ricocheted off a Fulham player initially, and then the shot, I think, has hit uh, Tom maybe on the back side or the back of the legs and it's completely wrong footed on the hip I think it's hit him completely wrong footed Burn Leno who had that covered in fact it wasn't even going to hit the target was it looking at the replay it was going wide and now we are going to get Traore on and Polina as we uh, had planned to do but well they're looking for a possible offside here yeah. he is off isn't he well he is off there Whether that's too early in the move, I mean, it's clever work from Gomez, you'd have to say, as he slides it through. I mean, it's Mario Lamina, but he's going away for a goal out towards the touchline. Oh, no, the man in the middle, actually, who's Fraser, who's received it, might have been. It's going to be tight, actually. It would be wonderful if they ruled this out, and then we can get Polina and Traore on. And just a goal down, but then I come all the way out to uh, discuss this. They're given the goal. Yeah, the goal's been given. So Sasha Lukic is making way for Xiao Polina. Oh, there's Broya straight onto the ball and he bundles Max Kilman off it. A good run into the box. He's gone too wide in the end to get a shot in, but he pushes it for Alex Iwobi. Showed good intent there, Jamie. I'm just not sure why he didn't keep going, but Polina floats it into the box. William will pick it up, left-hand side of the penalty area. William swings the cross in. 
Well, oh, oh, it's a great save from Saar, but it's headed. Oh, another great save. I thought Broly had headed the rebound in. Jose Saar there with a terrific double save. Broly almost uh, introducing himself. I mean, he certainly looked lively, Jamie. He might pose a threat, but uh, just lost possession far side. Polina winning it back. Here's Amando Traore bursting through the middle. Still going up to the edge of the box. Oh, oh it's another great save from Saar. William picks up the loose ball. Drills it across. Goal, Polina. Oh, it's blocked. Was there a handball there by Tommy Doyle? No appeals from Fulham. They get it away in the end, but Jose Saar has made three unbelievable saves within a couple oh. of minutes. Oh, it should be the oh, other he's way. Penalised uh, toss in now to referee. He's given a free kick. Mario Lamina has gone down again. I don't remember him being that way, but uh, spent more time on the ground in his second half than anything else. Traore with a great burst through there for Fulham. A pile driver of a left-footed shot. And then when William crossed it, that's the previous one. I think Polina hooking it towards goal. Saar with a one-handed save, and then Broya trying to head it in. Well, it was Muniz, in fact, who got his head to it. And then Saar, maybe was helped out and it was headed off the line by Max Kilman, Jamie. It was all happening so quickly. Remaining, we desperately need a goal. Here's William to toss it. Touches it for Polina just inside the Wolves' half. Yellow carded within a couple of minutes of being reintroduced after a two-match ban. He finds Kearney. Here's Traore. Crossing into the box hall. Polina got his head to it, but it was slightly behind him. It was a difficult header. It goes up and over the bar whether or not there was a Fulham player in a better position behind him maybe Broya or Iwobi I don't think Alex Iwobi really just one of those days really but uh, when Leno gets it forward Broya with a little flicked header Anthony Robinson's after it into the penalty area finds William can we get a consolation goal at least William to Robinson once more drills it across Broya well it is in Awobi. Is it Awobi with a final touch? It's in the net. It all went quiet, and I thought they were. Alex scored it, yep. I thought they were appealing for something there for a moment. The, uh, 22, Alex Anthony Robinson drilled it across. Broya helped it towards goal. Alex just stretched out a right boot. Did ever so well, really, to divert it past uh, Jose Sart. And Fulham do have a goal back. But we're into uh, the 99th minute, there was eight minutes added on initially.